Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Michael Myers from Halloween. We're going to get started in the center of our page with the top edge of the eyelid. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to start on the outside curving up and then in. Now we're going to turn up the inside edge of the eyelid for a little frown line. Now let's leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start with a little frown line first. I'm going to curve down and then out. I'm going to draw two half circles underneath the eyelid. So on the left side, I'm going to step in, draw a curve coming down, and then we'll pull that up in towards the little frown line. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting on the inside, and we'll pull that up, leaving a little overlap on the outside. Let's go ahead and fill the eyes in black. We're going to add a thin eyebrow just above the eyes. So on the left side, I'm going to curve across and then aiming towards the frown line. I just want to leave a little gap on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. I want to add a little bit of an eye bag on the inside edge of the eyes. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to curve down and then we'll pull it out. Then in between the eyes, I'm going to add the nose. So let's start with a little U shape first. And then on the left side, I'm going to step down and draw a little C for the nostril. And do the opposite on the right side. And then up in the middle, right up here, I'm just going to draw a short little curve just to the top edge of the nose. We'll move down in the middle and draw in the mouth. So a simple curve from left to right going up in the middle and then down. And then below the mouth, I just want to draw a little curve in the opposite direction for the lower lip. On the sides here, I just want to draw a little curve going out for the cheeks. So let's start directly below the left eye. I'm going to curve up and in, aiming towards the edge of the nose. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we can start working in the outside edge of the mask. So below the mouth, I just want to draw in a curve for the chin. So below the cheek, I'm going to curve down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. Now I tuck the cheeks underneath the chin. So on the left side, I'm going to step down, curving out, and then up just beside the left eye. We're going to do the same thing on the right. I'm going to leave a little gap in between the cheeks and the top of the head. So on the left side, I'm going to step up. I'm going to draw a half circle going up to the top of the head. And then we're going to bring this down on the right side. Again, leaving a gap in between the cheeks. I'm going to tuck the ears in beside this little gap here. So on the left side, I'm going to step up, curving up and out, and then pulling that in towards the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. So stepping up, curving around, back in behind the head. Right in here, I'm going to add a little hook for the inner ear. On the left side, I'm just going to curve this down. Now let's start working in the hair around the mask. So in the middle, I'm going to step up and draw a curve going over towards the left. Going over and then just pulling that down. We're going to hook that back in, so tapering it back. I'm going to draw another curve coming down, so a large hair strand coming down. Now I'm going to hook that back again short curve. Now I'm going to curve in the opposite direction. I'm going to work my way around the ears. So curving out. Now I'm going to hook that back in. Now let's go around the ears. From here I'm going to curve around and then down. I'm going to hook that back up. Now let's curve around the bottom of the ear. Coming down. I'm going to do a short curve again going up. Now I'm going to curve in the opposite direction and then we'll tuck this in behind the head. Going down and out up towards the earlobe, we'll do one more curve, going down and then in behind the mask. Now let's work our way around the right side. So from here I'm going to step over towards the left, just want to draw an overlap, curving around and then down. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction, we step up, curving up and out, and we're going to hook that back in. We're basically going to mirror what we have on the left side here, so let's go curve down and out that back in. Now we're going to curve like we did on the left side here. Curving down, out, hook that back in. Now we can work our way around the ears. Coming 
down, hook that back up. Now I'm gonna work our way down below the ear, back up. Now we're gonna curve in the opposite direction. And then one small one right here to finish that off, and in behind the mask. Now we're gonna tuck the edge of the mask in underneath the head. So it's basically a curve that goes around the chin. So we start on the left side, we curve down. Now right here, I just wanna add a little cut. We're gonna do a little upside down V. We're gonna continue this curve. Let's draw one more. We're gonna do a little upside down V here. We'll continue over and underneath the head. Okay, so now that we've got the head, let's work it in the body. So in the middle, we're gonna step down in the middle and draw a point. We wanna draw the inside edge of the collar. So this is gonna to touch the edge of the mask here. So curving up and then just pulling it out. Do the same thing on the right side. Now for the outside edge of the collar, we're gonna step out on the side of the cheeks. And just draw a curve coming down on either side. And then we're gonna curve this back in towards the inside of the collar. Going in and then down. Now from this center point, I just wanna pull a straight line coming down towards the lower torso. So right about there. Right here, I just wanna overlap this with the curve from left to right. Now on the left side, I'm gonna step in curve down and out towards the heel on the left. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the bottom, we're just gonna curve the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we'll just draw a curve. Do the same thing on the right side. And from here, we're gonna draw the top of the foot coming down along the bottom edge of the pant. So let's start with the left toe, go up. Now we're gonna aim towards the heel and as we get to the inside, we're just gonna curl this back up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the toe, we're going to curl up the top of the foot. Now we're aiming towards the heel, and then we're just going to pull that up as we come towards the inside. At the bottom of the feet, I'm just going to add a little sole. So we step up, and just draw that same curve just above. Let's move back up and draw on the sides of the body. So just underneath the collar, we're going to step down, leaving a little gap. So on the left side, I'm just going to curve down and then out. Do the same thing on the right side. And then from the hips, I just want to curve out again and then down towards the top of the foot. Now I'm going to show a little bit of a wrinkle at the bottom of the pant here. So right up here on the left, I'm just going to draw a little curve. Do the same thing on the right side. And then up here, we're going to add two pockets. So let's start with a straight line going along the top of the pocket on either side. Now on the ends, we're just going to come straight down. close off the bottom with a straight line. Now let's add the flap of the pocket. So up here we're just going to step down, draw a straight line going across on both sides. So now that we got the body, let's go to the outside and draw on the arms. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to have him holding a knife. So underneath the collar here, I'm going to curve down and then out. This is the top edge of the arm. Now we're going to roll the thumb around here. So from this point, we're going to go up, down. It's almost like drawing an oval. And then we're just going to pull the thumb up about halfway along that curve. From here, I just want to hook this back for the palm. Now we're going to stack the fingers in behind the thumb. So on the side of the thumb, we're going to go out and pull that back in. Let's add another finger. We're going to go out and we're going to go underneath the thumb and then pull that back in. We'll do that one more time. From here, we're going to put the knife in behind the finger. So let's start at the top here. Above the finger, we're going to draw a straight line going up then above the thumb, we're gonna go straight up to the same height. We're gonna close off the top with a curve. Now we're gonna follow these two lines coming down below the finger. So on the inside, just below the finger here, come straight down towards the tip of the knife. Now underneath the finger on the other side, we're gonna curve down towards that point. And then right here, I'm just gonna draw the edge of the hand going across. Now right here, I wanna draw on the cuff of the sleeve. So we're gonna curve around, and then in towards the top of the wrist. And then coming down here, go up and behind the body. I wanna add a little cuff trim. So stepping in, just go around the wrist. On the right side, I'm just gonna have the arm hanging down here. So about halfway along the body here, we're gonna curve down and out. We're gonna do a half circle for the thumb. And then we're just gonna draw a bracket at the end of the thumb. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna go around the bracket and go up. We step down, draw on the second finger, going up, and then the third finger is going to go all the way up underneath the collar. 
Now from the wrist line, I'm gonna curve down, then to the outside of the arm. I'm gonna do that one more time. So stepping up from the cuff, go to the outside, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Michael Myers from Halloween. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I hope you have a happy and safe Halloween. Thank you.